Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson is on graphing linear equations. Our objectives today are that you will understand that lines represent solutions of linear equations, and you will graph linear equations. Here's what I'd like you to think about while we proceed through the lesson today. What will all graphs of linear equations have in common? So first, let's talk about what a linear equation is. A linear equation is an equation whose graph is a line. We have this linear equation right here, y equals x plus 3. The first mistake students often make is they look at this and they think they need to solve. So you cannot solve a linear equation written in what we call two variables. When we have two unknowns, there is no way to solve for one of them unless you had two equations. We'll talk about that in a future unit. So the only thing you can do is graph this or identify solutions of the equation, but you cannot solve this equation. This represents the graph of a line. Where x is what we call inputs. In science class, you might have learned that those are your independent variables and y represents our outputs or our dependent variables. So y is dependent on the value of x and this is a rule. So it says for any input x, add three and that will equal y. So we talk about any point on a line being a solution of the graphed equation. So if we go back to the definition of a line, a line is an infinite amount of points that all together form a line. All of those points on the line that form the line are each a solution of the graphed equation. So any point on the line will be a solution in the form of an ordered pair x, y. So x represents your input and y represents your output. So any value that's on the line, any ordered pair, when you plug in x, that value for x, you can solve and get y. So let's look at this. One way to graph a line is to create a table of these inputs and outputs. So this is the first method that I show my students on how to graph a line. So we have our linear equation here, y equals x plus 3. I've given you a table, and here is x, all of our inputs, and I'm asking you to use negative 1, 0, and 1. I like students to use three points, and then that way it checks their math. You really only need two points to graph a line. The third one's a bit of an insurance policy. So I like to pick a negative input, zero because that's easy to evaluate, and a positive input. You could put any three numbers here that you wanted. So what we're gonna do is we're going to evaluate this linear equation for these three inputs. So we're gonna do this three times. So we start with our equation, identify that we are putting in the input for x. So we replace x with a value negative 1 and solve for y. So when x is negative 1, negative 1 plus 3 is 2. So the matching or corresponding value for y is 2. So if you input x to be negative 1, the output is 2. And this is an ordered pair that we will graph in a minute. Now we're going to start with our equation again identifying that we're putting in for a value of x. This time we're gonna put in zero. So y equals zero plus three. When that happens, when x is zero, y will equal three. Zero plus three is three. So we put it in our table. And we're gonna do it one more time, and we're going to replace x with one. y equals one plus three. One plus three is four, and we put that in our table. So now we can identify that this is a point. It's an ordered pair, negative one, two. So x, negative 1, y2, we plot a point. Now we have 0, 3, so we plot our point. 0, 3, and our other last point, 1, 4. So we go to the right 1 and up 4 and plot our point. And now if you were on paper, you would use a ruler and connect the three dots with a line. And if one of the points did not fall on the line, we would know that we made a mathematical error here calculating it. So this line is the graph of this equation. So let's go over the steps to graphing a linear equation using a table. 
So this is just one way to graph a line. In future videos, you'll learn a different way. Step one, we're going to create a table of inputs and outputs, and we're going to pick any three input values you get to pick. Step two, complete the table by evaluating the given linear equation for each of the three input values that you selected. Step three, we're going to plot each of the three points from our table of values on a coordinate plane. And step four, using a ruler, we're going to connect the points to form a line. And here's a note. Every point on the line represents a solution to the linear equation. So I would write these down to follow along. Now it's your turn. I would like you to graph the linear equation y equals 2x minus 1. I have given you a table and an example of a coordinate plane. So go ahead and pause, do this on your own, and come back to check your work. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So let's evaluate this linear function for all three of these inputs. So we start with our equation, and we're going to replace x with negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Let's put it in our table. We start with our equation again, and we're going to replace x with 0 this time. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 1 is negative 1, and into the table it goes. Start with our equation. Replace x with 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Minus 1 is 1. Put it in our table. So now we have our three ordered pairs, our three points. So we'll start with negative 1, negative 3. So we're going to go left, negative 1, and down 3 and plot our point. Then we start at 0 and go down 1 for 0, negative 1. And then our last point, we're going to go to the right 1 and up 1 for 1, 1. And then connect our points with our line. And this is the line that represents this linear equation. Now let's talk about horizontal lines. A horizontal line will have an equation in this form, y equals, and b represents a number. Later on in future videos, you'll learn that b is very special in algebra, but for right now, I just want you to focus on y equals a number. There's no x. So when we have an example of that, this value of b, which is a number, will be the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So here's our y-axis. So here's an example. We're going to graph the line y equals negative 3. And as you get more practice with this, just by looking at it, you're going to be able to identify that there's no x and say, oh, that's a horizontal line. So when it says y equals negative 3, think about going to the y-axis and putting a point on negative 3. And then you have to draw a line that passes through the point, and there's your horizontal point. So it's a horizontal line passing the y-axis at negative 3, making a horizontal line, and it will always be in the form y equals a number. Now let's talk about a vertical line. A vertical line will be have an equation that is x equals a number. So this a represents something, but it's just a number. So the value of a will be the point where the line crosses the x-axis. So here's our x-axis. And students often get confused because x is our horizontal axis, but x equals a number is a vertical line, and here's why. If we're asked to graph this, we're going to go where x is equal to 4 and put a point there. So we go over to our x-axis and put a point on 4. In order to draw a line through just this on the x-axis, it has to be a vertical line. So think about x equaling 4, putting a 4 on the x-axis, and you have to draw a line through it, making it a vertical line. All right, now it's your turn. I would like you to graph these two linear equations. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So on the first one, we're going to go to the x-axis and plot a point on negative 2, and then we're going to draw a line through it. So this is the equation of a vertical line passing through the x-axis at negative 2. Now we have the linear equation y equals 6. We're going to go to the y-axis and plot a point at 6. And then we're going to draw a line through it. So it's a horizontal line passing through the y-axis at 6. How'd you do? All right, now it's your turn. I've given you a little bit of a head start here, and I've suggested when we go to graph this linear equation that we're going to use inputs of negative 3, 0, and 3. I'll explain why when I show you the solution. Go ahead and pause now, 
complete the table, and graph your three points. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So we're going to make room for our three evaluations here. I'm going to take my equation and I'm going to replace x the first time with negative 3. So the reason I picked negative 3 is I have a denominator of 3. So when I multiply 2 thirds by negative 3, this becomes negative 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So I have negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. Let's fill it in the table. Start with our equation again. We're going to find the value of x we're using is 0, so replace x with 0. Anything times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. Put it in our table. Now my last one, I'm going to replace x with the value of 3. And then 2 thirds times 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1, leaving me 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. Put that in your table. So now let's turn these into our ordered pairs, our points, our solutions. So I have negative 3, 2. So I'm going to go to the left, negative 3, and up 2 and plot a point. Then I have the ordered pair 0, 4. So we start at the origin. We don't go left or right because it's 0, and we go up 4 and plot a point. And then our last point is 3, 6. So we're going to go to the right, 3, and up 6 and plot our point. Now we're going to connect our line, and there we have it. This line represents this linear equation. So there you have it. That is how you graph a linear equation using a table of values. And remember, any point on a line is a solution to the linear equation. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Have a great day.